Coming up in this video, we are checking out of our hotel in Brussels. Such a happy puppy. Picking up our truck, Denny, at the port. <laughs> our trusted friend. Get an expensive fuel bill. 304 US dollars to fill this beast. Something really stinks. It's not me. Make wrong turns in the foggy Belgian countryside and return to a familiar spot to get settled back into van life. Hello, we are Ben, Rebecca, and Lucy, and this is our truck, Denny. For the past five years, we've been working towards the dream of driving around the world, and it's finally coming true. Welcome to our series of videos as we drive across America to the East Coast, prepare Denny for roll-on, roll-off shipping, drop him off at the Port of Baltimore, catch a flight to Italy, check into an Airbnb for a couple weeks, rent a camper van to drive to Belgium, wait out a week of shipping delays at a hotel in Brussels. Finally, we get reunited with Denny at the Port of Zabrugi. Now, welcome to our journey. We ready? As ready as we're ever gonna be. Okay, it is 6.30 in the morning. Okay, so you're gonna drop off the key and don't forget the dog. Okay, that's that. Onward. It's our Uber van. Okay, I got the puppy. I know you can't see me, but we are off to pick up our rolling home on wheels and start our driving adventure around Europe. We had a couple options for getting from Brussels to the port in Zabrugi. Taking the train and public transportation didn't sound all that appealing with our baggage. Renting a car was a bit ridiculous because there was a two-day minimum, making it 150 US dollars. Then we would have to pay an additional $25 to park it for the night at the hotel when it wasn't even needed for two nights. Then there would be the additional round-trip fuel costs. Or we could just call the taxi driver who picked us up from the camper van return and pay him 200 euro. We didn't need to add extra expense and inconvenience to an already expensive and exhausting endeavor. Asking security for directions to the building. Yes, yes, yes. that's the office. Yes, we. Wallenius office. Wallenius, yeah. Uh, you must go back. Yes. And on, on the left side, you see that building. I think the building is over there. Yep, that's the right one. Mm -hmm. That's the one, eh? Mm hmm, this is it. Okay. Is it possible to wait for one minute? Yeah, no problem. Yes? Okay. Okay, I'm going to go see if I can get our truck. Hello. Hi. Right again, Basile. Uh-huh. Your name and signature. Yes. Maybe if you already have your passport or identity card, I can take a copy. Can I ask you to uh, sign? Uh, date, uh, signature, and your name is for receipt. Okay. If there's a problem with the car, you can just come back in and write down what's wrong. But that way, I can leave the car. We don't you need to cut the, the, the motor. Uh -huh. It's better for the car. Right? Okay. If there's a problem, come back come to back. you. Okay. There you go. Merci. Okay. My colleague will bring the car up front. Okay. So if everything is okay, you can just. Uh, That's it. Yeah. yeah. Merci. <laughs> I see him off in the distance. Ha <laughs> ha, there he is. The Fuso. There's our buddy. Ah, thank you, thank you. Ha <laughs> ha, our trusted friend. Ha <laughs> ha, yes. He's here. And we are rolling. He put us going the wrong direction. It feels so good to be behind the wheel of this thing. Okay. He's here. Mwah. We're touring Europe in our expedition vehicle. This is awesome. He made it. And now uh, Rebecca's doing a quick walk around for damage. 
but so far everything looks really really good okay yeah as far as i can see we're good okay something else that was kind of nice is our little rv lock here and uh, martin said nobody asked for the code so we know that nobody has been inside the habitat of our truck and that holds a lot of value Ta-da! Boom! Our home! Yes! Look at that. There's uh, like spider webs. Oh, we got a <laughs> invasive species, honey. <laughs> shh, shh. Let's see how Denny held up in here. Well, first glances, everything looks okay. I don't see anything of concern. Trash can's definitely going away. We can't have that here. Everything held in place great though. Like these this always cool. slide off, so that's no big deal. Even the water bottles are still upright. Oh, I'm so glad we remodeled this thing before we came over here. Okay. Let's see how stuff over here fared. Okay, television's still in place. And all of the cabinets look okay. Oh, it's so nice to be home. I can't wait to sleep on this bed. Really think about it, like, we're on the other side of the world with yeah. the truck. I never actually thought it was gonna happen. <laughs> Ooh, it's brisk here. I, I gave in and got my winter coat out. <laughs> I'm really glad I packed that and had it like right here handy. Gotta love zip ties. They'll do until we can get settled somewhere. Okay. Okay, real quick, checking the battery bank. 100%. Gotta love it. Uh, now it's time to turn everything back on. On there. That's off. On, on, on. Wow, we have light on, in here. On, on on and on. I need to do the inline fuses for the refrigerator. My hands are freaking cold. <laughs> okay, we should be able to turn the refrigerator on. We weren't sure if people would um, inspect the inside of our cabinets, so we didn't use the new locks with the magnets. We just used these uh, bungee cords so nothing got broken. Okay, everything looks good in there. Dude, it just doesn't even look like this thing came across the ocean. Down here, we installed these. Still totally intact. Everything looks fine. <laughs> it doesn't even look like it. she went anywhere. He went anywhere. Okay. Honey, our new life. Could we be called expats now? I think so. Yeah, we are gonna go home. Nomadic expats. Yeah. Our new life has begun. This is awesome. We are finding our way outside the port right now. Trying not to do anything stupid. Okay, first things first, we need to find a uh, fuel station because part of the shipping process was leaving your tanks below 25% uh, and I can guarantee this is not going to be pretty. This is going to be one heck of a uh, fuel bill, but we're here, honey. We did it. Honestly, I still cannot believe that Denny is in Europe and that we actually pulled it off and that we are here. It's very surreal at this point. I'm not sure when it's going to actually sink in. I've had moments of like, wow, the truck is on the other side of the world. It's actually here, but still, still kind of feels like a dream. Lucy's happy to be back in her truck. She says, this is my home. 
Where this truck go, I go. <laughs> she looks like she's large and in charge over here. She's like, this way, daddy. <laughs> I help you watch for traffic. <laughs> You're a good co-pilot, aren't you? <laughs> she looks like she means such serious business. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this little house. Oh my god, I'm never gonna turn the camera off. <laughs> you got the keys to the locking gas caps? Yep. Shell diesel. That should do it. Okay, at 1 euro 60 per liter for diesel, and it said 7% biodiesel. I'm not sure if I'm good with that, but it's what we had, the only option we had, but it's about 304 US dollars to fill this beast back up with fuel. You know, we need to type in a navigation direction. Yeah, we do. Before we start driving. Agreed. And I'm using them. Good plan. Well, it says 3.1 meters, which is about 10 feet. Not quite enough for the truck. We think that 3.1 is on the edges. But I'm going to walk up here and stand on the other side and watch him make sure uh, we don't take our air conditioner off or something. I'm gonna watch this. The semi balls him through it. Yeah, he is, and he's definitely taller than we are. I think you're fine. Yeah. Rule number one don't do anything stupid your first day driving the truck in Europe. <laughs> Please. We are both starving. We really didn't, I didn't eat anything. I just had coffee this morning and I think Ben had like some baguette and butter. So we're gonna stop here and get something to eat at this little place. It looked like it would be yummy. Oh, oh. oh sorry. Sorry. <laughs> okay, uh, je voudrais un sandwich au roast beef. Yes. Et le sandwich au chèvre. Okay, I can get behind this. I want to make sure I get still water. Mm. Oh, the bubbles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get you? Bon appetit, Benjamin. Oh, this looks like a good sandwich. Mm -hmm. Nice soft bread. The bread is so soft, it's mm. divine. Très bien. This will hit the spot. Yeah, so Ben got the one with roast beef. And I'm trying the one with goat cheese and bacon and honey and something else. It was really different, so I'm gonna try it. Why not try it? Mm. Okay, so we are on a highway now, and I have to apologize to Belgium because we're not really gonna do much in Belgium at this time. Uh, our new friends, Guido and Nancy, who own the campground, Camping Maca, uh, offered for us to stay while we just get our feet underneath us again. Uh, we got a lot of unpacking to do in the camper, just get resettled in, and it's gonna be a nice, level, safe, beautiful uh, internet, uh, just a good spot for us to kinda just, like I said, get our feet underneath us. So we are gonna totally do more of Belgium in our travels, just not necessarily right now. So, a uh, status report on Denny. As far as we can tell, uh, there is no damage sustained during the journey across. Our one complaint, and um, we keep going like... It's not me. It's not Lucy. And we've been smelling Lucy. <laughs> and we smell her bed and her blankie and her sweater. It's not coming out of the vents. I have the vents going right now. It stinks like musty bio laundry in here. And I just washed all of our laundry 
at the hotel yesterday. Like, we have full clean clothing on. Yeah, this is not like van life rule clothing. No. You know, a week and a half of wearing no. the same stuff. So, I don't I know. I don't know what it is, but... Every now and then. Woo! Stinky. And... There is a little puppy who is very happy to be in her home. I don't know if I've seen her this relaxed since we dropped the truck off. Um, she just sat in here the whole time we were getting the truck ready to leave. Totally happy. And then as soon as we started driving, she helped Papa navigate to the freeway and then laid down, conked out. I think she's had like a month of exhaustion changing places all the time we've stayed three different places while we've been waiting for denny and lucy is home this is where she grew up denny is her home and she's very happy to be here there's the stink again Ugh. <laughs> they just got a whiff of it again Woo. we gotta get to the bottom of this <laughs> <Stinks>. <laughs> These films are produced with your support, the Outliers YouTube community. Click join on our channel for early video releases, exclusive content, increased engagement, and so much more. I wonder what that place is. It's really neat. It's a pretty building. It is. Keeping me on my toes here. Mm-hmm. Okay, relax. It's a foggy night. And Southern Belgium. It's a beautiful area. We drove through here uh, on our way out from uh, Camping Maka last time uh, and it was foggy but you know if we can just get water because he left a hose out for us mm -hmm. and make some food and curl up into bed because it's probably about 40 degrees out right now. It's nice and chilly. Fire up our Wallace stove. I'll call that a good night. Sounds good to me. Their cows are furry here. They look very different from our cows. I love the trees here. They, they look different. We're definitely going a back way. Are we? I think so. I don't really I thought, remember. I think this is the way we came. Really? Yeah. Well, I don't know that this is. This is what I don't remember driving on a non-paved road. <laughs> Oh well, we are a four-wheel drive. We can handle it. How did we get turned off of the main road? Google. Stupid Google. We drove on like a nice paved two-lane road. Oh, are you gonna stick your head out the window again? <laughs> smell the good smell in air. Now. Yeah, this looks like what we drove on. Well, Google acted like we should turn on this road and then promptly said, please make a legal U-turn. So here we are, legally U-turning <laughs> in the fog at dusk on a really tiny road. What a day. <laughs> uh, we're settled in to the camper, topped off the water tank, touch wood. All systems appear to be so far functioning. We got our Wallace uh, diesel stove fired off for the heat. I ran the SPAR uh, just because it's good to run that every month. And that also heats up hot water for us because I did not I uh, have the w coolant circulating through there because the tank was empty and I just thought that it would be good to, if you're heating that, to just have something to absorb the heat. Just one of my weird quirks. But dinner is looking pretty good. We have ready-made food from the grocery store. Uh, pasta, carbonara, and like an Alfredo. Oh, 
gorgonzola. Wow, that sounds good. You know, you get rotisserie chickens in the States. Well, this is what you get here. Cracked open a bottle of wine. We got a baguette. It was a good day. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough for one video. I think so too. You okay. look tired. I think we should go to bed. I am this. tired. <laughs> All right, close it out. <sighs> Thanks for joining us in Europe. If you want to see the rest of our adventures, hit that subscribe button because we are traveling on another continent. One more thing here. Uh, I think we figured out where that pungent body odor smell was coming from. And it smelled rather familiar in many ways, but it's autumn here. And in Alaska at home, you know, autumn and you get the rain and you get the molds and the rotting leaves and everything's just doing its nastiness. I'm pretty sure it's just mother nature. And <clears throat> I know a lot of you probably have, you know, lived in climates or still do live in climates where that happens where it just gets that body odor smell and it really caught us off guard but i think we figured it out so there it is <laughs>